Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Monday to you. Welcome to a brand new week and welcome to Five Minutes with Phil. I'm glad that you've joined me here today and uh, I pray you had a good weekend. And uh, now we're staring at the work week. Again, I always think it's good to kick off the work week by taking a look, actually every day, by taking a look at what God's Word has to say and maybe we could apply it to our lives. Now, I'm going to do something a little uh, special this week, well, different this week, but all five of our Five Minutes with Phil episodes this week are going to come from the same chapter in the Bible. The same chapter in the Bible. So we're going to go, like every day we'll go uh, maybe one or two verses, and then we'll kind of tear it apart and uh, see what God has to say to us uh, that day. And then all week, we'll just be blessed by this one chapter. And we're going to be in Psalm chapter 130 today. Psalm 130. Psalm 130. And uh, this psalm, it's a real powerful psalm. Uh, uh, Those of you who've been around the church for a while, maybe you might recognize some of these verses. But uh, the beautiful thing about God's Word is that anytime you read it, it can almost feel like the first time because God could say something new to you each time you read a verse that maybe you've read dozens of times. And uh, let's see what the Lord might have to say to all of us here today. So this morning, we're going to kick things off by looking at verses 1 and 2 of Psalm 130. Take a look at this with me if you want to. Here's what the psalmist tells us, he says, from the depths of despair, O Lord, I call for your help. Hear my cry, O Lord, and pay attention to my prayer. And we'll stop there today. The psalmist says it's from the depths of despair that I cry out to you. Now, I I want to I want to pause there because uh, I, I, I've met people that have found themselves in in real deep despair. They, they've found themselves in a, a real difficult time, and 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 what that is is going to vary from person to person. Okay, you know, I I, I have uh, friends of mine who have suffered some great loss lately. I have people in my church that have been dealing with some physical pain and some difficult circumstances. Your situation might be uh, just a real hard situation at work. Maybe it's a real difficult situation in a relationship. Maybe your marriage, your home. I mean, whatever the case might be. And oftentimes, <coughs> excuse me, oftentimes when we find these difficult situations, we we almost pull back. You know, I recently had a conversation with somebody that said, well, this is the way I feel. Nothing's working out for me, so I'm just going to give up on praying. I'm going to give up on you know church and everything else. And that is the polar opposite of what we need to do. If you find yourself in despair, how I like what we started this series off with is the fact that the psalmist said, "I got to pray." If 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 I'm feeling despair, if I, I'm in the depths of despair, if I'm overwhelmed by what I'm going through, I got to pray about it. I got to pray about it. And friend, if, if that's where you're at, uh, I would caution you from trying to go a different direction and really give your life and give your need and give your crisis completely to God today. And the second half of this uh, text for today says, Hear my cry, O Lord, pay attention to my prayer. And here's one thing that I'm assured of, is that anytime I pray, I have God's attention. Anytime that I go to him, he listens to me. He doesn't just hear noise, he listens to me. I've been in enough conversations where the person I was talking with, I think they heard my voice, but they didn't really hear my words. Maybe you understand what I'm saying. And for God, he's not just hearing a bunch of noise. He, he's listening to you. He hears your words. And so today, if you find yourself in any kind of trouble, if you find yourself in any kind of negative situation, no matter how deep it is, pray. Call out to God and pray. And you 
uh, will discover that you have his full attention and he'll do something about it. Okay, that's my time today. I love you. Thanks for joining me. And uh, Lord willing, we'll see you again tomorrow. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.